Hey guys, this is Tony and I'm going to show you how to create a simple authentication system using Laravel 4. I've created a tutorial about creating a, an authentication system with Laravel 3 and I thought I'd do the same thing with Laravel 4 since things have changed up quite a bit. So what I have in front of my screen is a blank Laravel installation and a virtual host auth.dev pointing to the root of that directory. And I'm also running MAMP, so I've created a new database and just call that auth and I've connected my Laravel application to that database. And in my text editor, I'm at the root of my directory. And in my terminal, I'm also at the root of that authentication directory, which is my Laravel application. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create my migration table. And I have a, an alias for my MAMP version of PHP. Most of you will just run PHP artisan, but I've created an alias called PHP MAMP. So I'll run artisan migrate install and it will install my migration table. And the next thing I want to do is create an, a user's table file, a user's table migration file. So I'll just run php artisan migrate make, and I want to create a user's table. And then we've created that file. So if I go back into my text editor and I go into app database migrations, I will see that file in my application. So in the up method, we're going to want to create a users table and I have a snippet that I just pasted in, which is creating a users table, which gives it an ID, a username, email, um, password, and the timestamps. So that those are all the fields that our table is going to contain. And I just thought I would add the down functionality, which is just going to drop our users table. So if we roll back our migration, then we'll drop our users table. So if I go back into my terminal and I run PHP MAMP artisan migrate, then we should have our users table created. And sure enough, if we go into MAMP and I check out the structure of the database right now, we have a migrations and a users table. And the users table contains those fields that we have specified. So the next thing that we'll want to do is go into our application routes file and we'll want to start creating the routes for our login and our signup pages. So if I go into my app and routes.php file, the different routes that we're going to need is we are going to need our login route. And we'll also need our signup route. And these two routes are basically going to display input for email and password for our login. And then our signup is going to contain username, email, and then a password and password confirmation. So I actually have a couple snippets of code that I'm just going to paste in. And all this is going to do on the login is just create a form. It's going to post to our login route with uh, an email field, a password field, and a signup. And I'm going to do the same thing for our signup route, which is going to contain exactly the same thing, except we're also going to have a password confirmation and a username field. So I'm going to test out those two routes right now. So if I go to login, we have our email address and our password field and our signup button. And now if I go to sign up, we have our username, email, password, and password confirmation. So I'm going to go over just the, what I'm printing out here um, in the in the login. I have an email field with ID, email, name, email, and just placeholder of email. And same with the password is ID, password, and name, password. So those will be the names that we're going to get inside of our post routes. So inside of our signup, we have a username field, which is ID, username, name, username, ID, email, name, email, and the same with the password. So we're gonna need a route to handle the logins. So that is going to be our post route. So whenever this form gets submitted, it is going to submit to this route right here. And the same thing goes for the signup route. And I'm going to go ahead and create the functionality for our uh, login route right now. And we're just going to want to we're going to want to say if this authentication attempt, and I'm just using the Laravel authentication library. So we're going to pass the inside of the attempt. So we're going to pass it an array of an email and a password or a username and password. And it's going to tell us if that user has been authenticated. And then we can simply 
print out something to the screen like you have successfully logged in. Otherwise, you can say try again, sucker. So what we're gonna need to do is pass it in an array, and I'm just going to pass it in an array. Actually, just gonna pass it in a user data variable. So above this, I will create the user data, which is going to be an array, and that's gonna be our email. and our password. So if I didn't make any errors on there, we should be able to save that and test out our login routes. On my login route, I can test an email and a password. And since we haven't had a user set up yet, it's basically just gonna say try again, sucker which means that we were not authenticated. So once we are authenticated, we'll prob probably want to have a route where the user can get to. So I'm gonna just create a route and call that dashboard. And this will be the user's dashboard after they have been successfully authenticated. Welcome to your dashboard. So if we go to dashboard right now, we can obviously see that route, but we want to prevent a user before getting to that route. So what I'm gonna do in the route get, I'm going to pass an array and add a before filter. And I'm gonna say before you run this function, you wanna run the auth function. And this auth is simply inside of your filters.php of your app directory. If you scroll down, you can see that the auth function basically says if the user is a guest, which means that they're not logged in, then redirect them to the login route. So that is what's gonna happen if we try and go to our dashboard route now. If I go to my dashboard route, it's gonna check our authentication and it's gonna see that we're not logged in. So then it is going to redirect us to the login page. So what we'll want to do is we're gonna to wanna to set up our signup posts so that way we can create a new user in our database. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna create a user data variable that contains an array of all of the fields that we want to get. And we're also going to want to get the username field as well since we're including the username when a user signs up. And another thing that we're going to want to do is we don't wanna just input just the password as a string we're going to want to we're going to want to hash that and we can use the hash class and just say make so basically we're going to hash our password so it's just not going to be saved as a string in our database so after that it's going to be a simple as simple as saying user equals new user and we'll want to pass it the user data array So I'm gonna save, and then I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna return a redirect to our login route. So if we save that and we come into our sign up route, where we are going to enter in a username, email at email.com. And I'm going to submit that data and I'm actually going to expect an error right now because there are a few things that there is one extra thing that I need to do in order for a new user to be created. So with Laravel 4, if you look inside of your models folder, you'll see a user.php. And this is basically the user object that is that comes by default with a Laravel 4 installation. But we are gonna need to tell it what can be filled what is fillable in this object. So basically what we can pass to the object. And it's basically a security parameter for a Laravel 4 or any application that you're going to build. It's a, uh, an extra security layer. 
So I'm gonna basically say that the user object can be filled with the username, email, and password. So I'm gonna save that and I'm gonna try my sign up one more time. Uh, change that to Bob. Bob at Gmail. Password. And I should hopefully be redirected to our login page if everything went correctly. And indeed, I'm at my login page, so I'm gonna try bob at gmail.com. And I'm gonna put in my password, and then now Bob should be authenticated, so uh, let's see. Oh, okay, I didn't enter the correct login. Bob at gmail.com, password. There we go, so Bob has been successfully authenticated. Uh, which means that we should be able to get to our dashboard. So if I go to dashboard, you'll see it says welcome to our dashboard. So a few things maybe that we want to change inside of the routes is once you're logged in, instead of just saying successful, we might want to redirect them to the dashboard. And also inside of our dashboard route, maybe we want to allow the user to log out. So I'm going to add a logout link. And then I'm going to need to create a logout route. And this is very simple. So I'm just going to say if we get to uh, our application root, our application URL slash logout, then we are going to want to use the authentication class and log the user out. And then we'll probably want to redirect them back to our login. So I'm gonna come here and I'm just gonna type in log out. And that's just gonna automatically log us out and then redirect us back to our login. Just so I can test the login one more time, it'll send me to my dashboard and then I can click on log out and that'll be the basic functionality of your application. What happened here? All right, looks like uh, my string somehow I'm sure somebody is seeing this and they're like, that's what it is. Echo, welcome to your dashboard. Oh, there we go. That would be the culprit. All right, so I'm going to enter my login, password. And now I'm at my dashboard. Welcome to your dashboard. And then you can add whatever you want to your dashboard. Your users can interact with your application since they've been authenticated. So if I click on logout, it's gonna take me back to the login page. There are several other things that you probably want to add to your application, such as notifications. So once the user logs out, you can say you've successfully been logged out uh, or possibly you've successfully created your account, you can now log in. But I just wanted to create this quick tutorial just to show you how easy it is to create a sign up, a login, and then have a dashboard page after a user has been authenticated. So that is basically all I wanted to show you. I hope this helps somebody else out. And if you have any questions, please feel free to visit my website, uh, tonylee.com, or send me an email, tony at tonylee.com, and I would love to hear your questions. So I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Yeah.